Hello, Power Veterans. It's me, Lady Vet, with another Power Book 2 ghost video. Another theory before Effie opens that door. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I can stretch a theory as far as it will go. So let's get to it. I would love to go over all the people that the Power community has come up with up until now, but I won't because I want to focus on my theory about one person. With not many clues about Effie's mother, only a few episodes left, and the many twists and turns from the writers, I found myself back to the beginning of the most popular guest that we had. I must tell you that I, like so many others, moved away from the thought to focus on two other people. They are not important at this point because I've made my way back to my original choice. Effie mentioned that her mom was a piece of nothing, that she drank all the time and allowed her daughter to be improperly touched. Effie also mentioned that she had a brother who was killed. If Effie's telling the truth, she had a miserable upbringing and has had to fend for herself since she was a young child. And so it's no wonder that she's guarded and is slow to trust anyone. But I want to make a couple of points here. Effie talked about her mother's issues, and she married Effie's abuser even after Effie told her that the guy was abusing her. But who and where was Effie's father? Did he know that his daughter was being abused? Does Effie know who her father is? Who taught Effie the game? Now here's where the theory gets really stretched. What if Effie's father helped her out since her choke days, what if he was already in the game and supplied Effie with her product because Effie's claim is that she was only in the game to pay her way through school? With life not being so good to Effie, she's mastered low-key drug dealing, hacking computers, and finding her way in life. She has also mastered her way to the best of schools. Choked, Yale, Stansfield, and now her sights are set on Stanford. Did Effie get her Ivy League mentality from a drunk mother? Obi just came to the United States, and he was quick to put Effie in the orphan box. How did Obi come up with Effie as little orphan Annie? Yes, he looked into the team's background and found a family member to inspire them to sell the product, at an elevated level, but why orphan? And for Effie, Obi said that they would kill Cain, Tariq, and Brayden, but he didn't say that they would kill Effie if Effie messed up. Obi just came to the United States. So where did he get his intel from? When Tariq and Effie accompanied RSJ to Italy, Noma and Obi pulled up on them. Noma wanted them to get a listening device that was planted by Mecca in Noma's ex's Lombardi's house. Why did Effie get Noma's family picture? I think that it was for more than leverage, as she told Tariq. Noma killed her ex. For what? More business or because he hated Mecca? Norma took over Francesca's business. And what was on the listening device? Effie was very casual about Francesca's murder when Tariq told her that Norma was a savage, killing her daughter's father like that. I think that Norma didn't kill Obi solely about green cards and helping Tariq. Prior to killing him, she slashed his face after hearing from Monet that Effie was in jail. But Obi told Tariq that it was for stalling Noma. I also think that Obi was more than Noma's number two. Obi knew all of Noma's secrets and her business. And just before she killed him, he said that he never lose focus and she's got no idea what he has done to protect her. Noma's got secrets. What if Effie's one of Norma's secrets? Here 
here's the thing. I think that Norma may be Effie's biological mother who gave her away and she was adopted by the drunk mother. Or Mecca was Effie's biological dad and Norma was the mean stepmother to be. At some point, we all got to forge our own path. The most important thing is knowing who the people are. Blood, chosen family, the only thing that matters is who has got your back when it's up against the fucking wall. Facts. Gotta stay true to the ones who got you. In my opinion, Norma has a connection to Effie beyond soldier and boss. And Obi knew this. We all know that Anya is Norma's pride and joy, the love of her life. Is Effie just her soldier? If so, why is she so mean to her? When she killed Obi, she thanked Drew for doing good work. Norma has never thanked Effie for anything. Even though Effie told her about Tariq's plan to get Anya to gain leverage over her. One would think that Norma would have a special place in her organization for Effie because of this. Effie also came to Norma right away when she thought that someone was dealing on her turf. But Norma dismissed Effie and told Cain to take Roman off the board. When Norma found Anya's coat pack, she immediately went in on Effie as if Effie personally handed the coat to Anya and as if Anya can do no wrong. Norma knows that Cain is about Effie and yet she wants to keep Effie around. Why, when Brayden and Tariq can handle Stansfield, why not let Effie go to Stanford and get her PhD? Is this a way to keep her eyes on Effie or keep her foot on Effie's throat? Norma told Kane that Effie's an opportunist, but it was Norma who put Effie back on the Russians after she completed her initial task. Norma thinks that Effie is a snitch. Well, she's got good reason because Effie snitched on Tariq to her about her daughter. After Effie proved her allegiance again, Norma told Kane that Effie would stay with the Russians. But why would Norma keep Effie around knowing that Kane cares for her? If the father is Mecca, then Effie's brother was Zeke. Effie is hell-bent on getting out of the life and going away from there to Stanford. The cost is more than any of the other schools, and Effie told Tariq that she's been saving her money. Lawyers can be expensive. And Effie was in jail. Not so long ago, Effie was trying to work out her tuition at Stansfield, at least until she found out that Kane paid for it. If Effie can barely afford Stansfield, what is her plan for Stanford? Come on, Effie, do better. We need the truth by episode eight and not later than nine. And we definitely can't go by a name because a name doesn't mean a thing in the power universe. We have Noma Asaju and Francesco Lombardi with daughter Anya Covington. We had Dante Spears and Nene Stewart with son Zeke Cross. Now we have Josefina Morales, the daughter of who knows. It's not beyond the writers to introduce us to a new mama for Effie. I would really appreciate if they gave us a mama that we already know and a believable backstory. Anything else would be a slap in the face this late in the last season. So when Effie opens her door, we gonna see how far the writers were willing to go for the fans. Until the next time, guys, I'm out.